Hello there. This is going to be a demonstration of different types of bits for driving screws and other forms of fastening. And also, it's also kind of a demonstration of how some companies use different types of bits to be able to block users from managing to fix their appliances or, well, anything really. Let's start off with the ones that you have most likely seen before. And I think we should also include that one. Yeah, for the moment being, these are the ones I will be covering. This is a Philip type of bit, the second size. Well, it's size number two, not the second size from the zero, because there are a lot, a lot of different variations of size. Not only for this one, but for all bits. And some have more sizes and some have less. So, yeah. That one, or, well, this one, it's probably better if I actually start with this one, because this was one of the first screw driving bits. It is just a straight line, and, well, it's used for screwing in screws. It has a few downsides, but also some positives. I'll start with the positives. Well, one of them, because I don't know all of them. The screws are incredibly easy to manufacture in comparison to maybe one of those or those or any of the other ones. Because they're, it's pretty much just make a screw, cut a line into it with maybe a a CNC machine or yeah anything pretty much that can cut a straight line and that is the one bonus I know of them over the other ones well the downsides when you're trying to screw in the screw you can easily slip out of that score in the screw or uh, line in the screw and hit your thumb there 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 anywhere even your just hand basically and that i can tell you from personal experience that hurts it's very uncomfortable and another thing about them they also strip out screws pretty easily because of the fact that is when you tighten these you can also ac accidentally climb out and just pretty much shred the top layer of metal away from it which may destroy the screw now moving on to this one which is pretty much better in most qualities except for the ease of manufacture of the screws and this one. These are called flutes. They <clears throat> are what drive the screw. They sit socketed into the screw. I'm going to show it to you on a screw that's actually made for this one. But another thing is these can drive in the ones made for these. Good thing to notice also, these lines are to say that they're made for these screws. But simply, they socket into it and drive. Whereas to this doesn't have any way of sinking in and staying put. So it just basically sits like that with wall there and a wall there to make it possible to move it which is a bad design because, as I said, it hits your thumb if you miss. But these ones have another problem. 
have a problem. That is, they can climb out when putting too much force onto them, which can damage the flutes and bend them and break them. But they are better in the way that you can get more force and yeah, well, basically just better in every way. Except for the manufacturer, because I don't know how they manufacture these screw heads, but I can tell you it's harder than those. You need a specialized process probably. But these give more torque and yeah, they don't break the screws as easily unless they go like that up and up and up and like that now for these these that's a philip by the way philips uh, don't know if they're related to the company that creates for example light bulbs and stuff like that these i don't know the english name for but in swedish they are roughly translated into uh, line screwdrivers or something like that basically a score you know a line into the metal yeah that screwdriver pretty much i don't know exactly the one but these ones are called p z or at least they say that on them i don't know if you can see that uh, P said number two, yeah. Uh, this is uh, chrome, CR, vanadium. That's the type of steel. And it's basically so it rusts less. P said stands for posse drive. I know it isn't D anywhere, but posse drive. And they fit into these because they're these screws are made for these but they go in and drive pretty much the same as these but these have the thing here that I'm sure you've noticed that I think is to give it more torque and to stop it from camming out as easily I think I don't know but that's what I think Now to just make it clear, these can the these ones, these ones and these ones and all of those can come in longer formats and even in doubles, so that you have one end for well the line screws and one end for for example Phillips number three. These are a different variant and size. And I can show you here for example this is a number zero phillips and it is very small as you can see in comparison it's tiny these are made for like electronics and other things like that that require a very small tip it doesn't have to be that it's small by the way it just means the angles of these basically because i have one of these kits where I have these and I'll pull it out for some of it. I dropped one. No. Now where is it? Here we go and then there. They tend to be smaller but as you can see it doesn't really have to do with size the number because they can still be very, very small. It's more of the angles and stuff like that. Because these are still... Never mind, they are actually a cork because I a slide apparently. Zero, zero, zero. And this Oh no, never mind, I didn't. This is just a zero. This is a zero, zero, zero. 
which is extremely thin or narrow or whatever the fuck you want to call it. I'm not a grammar Nazi, always. I'm not a Nazi ever. That got me off of subject, of the subject. But here is a number three, by the way. Yeah, Phillips. Uh, what to cover next? These two, I think, would be great additions. This time. Yeah, this is a hex drive because it has one, two, three, four, five, six sides or corners. That's hex for a, I think, Latin for six. So hexagonal, hexagon, for example, is the shape of this. And that usually is used for like, maybe some bolts or other things like that. They are really good in torque because, well, these ones can cam out, as it's called, when they go up like that. These ones, as you can see, have straight edges, which means they don't get pushed out. And because they're always contacting with a pretty big area, the entire sides of each one of these, they are quite strong in the twisting force. Pork. They're screw heads. I don't have any one, any of them for, to show you, but they are pretty good. They have one, well, a few downsides, one big one, and it's pretty much the bits get stuck in the actual screw because, well, when you twist this, it kind of smushes the weak, the softer and metal against this and it just kind of binds to it. So you have to kind of reverse it and break away from the softer metal to be able to pull it out. That is kind of a annoying thing to have to do. Focus you fuck. Focus. Come on. There we go. And they have the problem of, well, yeah. You can't get just screw in and then pull them out, screw in, pull them out. You have to screw them in, back a little bit, then maybe go back a little and then pull them out. These ones, good, not the best. My favorite bits is the Torx. This type of bit is called a Torx bit. And they, uh, well, these ones have a few different sizes, well, infinitely sizes uh, expand. Well, we don't use infinite sizes of these, but we do have the ability to make a lot of these sizes. But we usually use up to like seven, eight or something, which increases diameter. I think, I think it is either from this corner to that corner or from the flat to the other flat. And I think it's six millimeters or whatever. Those are pretty good. The Torx, I don't think they actually use anything because this is a T30, which stands for Torx 30. Don't know why they call it 30, they just do. They are better than these in some aspects and worse in others because they kind of have the same thing with the flutes, but they have a distinct difference, which is these don't really cam out because these, they get thinner and on an angle. These ones aren't really at all at an angle. And these have, these go into the bit in the same way as that one, only that instead of them using the flat corners and stuff like that, they have kind of like flutes, like that one, I just said that. Uh, but anyways, these ones, when they insert, have immense amounts of torque, 
but don't have the side effect that like that one does because there's no not very much metal to bind to here it's like a few flutes so you can easily pull them out and also these ones have big holes these ones have smaller holes because a lot of that space is just taken up by the screw here which means more metal is pushing against it without this having without this really pushing as much like that <sighs> sorry about that i'm just kind of tired because i don't usually talk this much non-stop uh, good i love these strong they work don't strip out the flutes as easily as many others. They work, they're good. Now to move on to a different subject, which is this is still a Torx, but as you can probably notice, it has a key difference, which is that hole. This is a security Torx. These are used for, well, to make kind of, I mean, it's not that hard to get a hold of these but they use these with the Torx screws with a kind of maybe maybe ball bearing that sits there to make it so that, wait a second, wait, there. These ones that don't have that hole aren't able to go in for far enough to actually go at the flutes and stuff like that and be able to turn. While these ones have that space for the, for example, ball bearing, so they do enter in and turn. They usually use that to make sure that you don't fix like tools and stuff like that. But the company, you have to go to the company to be able to do that. Yeah. Now to move on to some cool things that are pretty much the same as the one with a hole in it to make sure that you don't tamper with shit that you're not supposed to. This is a square drive. Come in different sizes. This one is... I've never found a screw that needed a four corner one like this, but they do exist. And they are like pretty much a four sided version of this. So, yeah, they're okay. You need them, they're used by companies probably to make sure that you don't repair or disassemble something that they don't want you to. Now, to move on to something that I, I mean, I have seen these, but you may say, but that's a normal one like the Philips. No. Because if you can see that, this curves in like that. So in kind of a arc. And these are pretty much just made to be able to make it so that you can't dis disassemble things that the company doesn't want you to. Yeah, pretty much that. I haven't run across too many of these, but when you do, it's good to have them. Now for the ones that if you have had a Nintendo you've probably seen the screw to and just figured oh well maybe I can just use a normal Philips. No, because this is a three-sided and it's also in an arch, slight one, but you can see that there. Yeah, yeah it's three-sided these are used on many Nintendo products because Nintendo, as again, they don't want you to fix the things that they sell you because they want you to bring it to them so you can pay much higher prices than you would if you could just give it to a third party repair person. Same thing with Apple, only that they use little different things and parts, circuitry, disable it. That's a story for another day. This, yeah, it's pretty much just a Philips with three flutes instead. That concludes this shit. 
That has been around 20 minutes of my life. I ain't getting back. Thank you all for watching. I hope you had a lovely day and I'll see you next time. Bye then, I guess.